Clarion, the permanently tensioned projection screen by Draper has a viewing surface that is flat for perfect picture quality. The Clarion's aluminum frame forms an attractive 2-inch border for a clean theater-like appearance. The fabric attaches to the frame without snaps or tools, forming a perfectly smooth viewing surface. The standard black frame is optionally available with velvety black Veltex, which virtually eliminates all reflections on the frame. The Z-Clip wall mounting brackets are included to simplify installation. Read instructions through completely before proceeding. Follow instructions carefully. Installation, contrary to instructions, invalidates warranty. The ideal temperature range for assembling folding screens to prevent damaging the surface is 68 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Assembling below recommended temperatures may damage surface and void warranty. Frame Preparation Instructions Screwdriver required for screen assembly. Clean area and place frame assembly pieces face down. Snap plastic corner pieces into ends of aluminum frame extrusions as indicated. Check to verify that all four plastic corners are seated securely in aluminum frame extrusion lengths. Lock in place using eight self-tapping screws. Caution! Do not over-tighten fasteners. Over-tightening could cause damage to the frame corners. Surface Preparation Move frame assembly out of the way. Unroll viewing surface and place on a smooth, clean surface. Orient viewing surface so that folded side of hem is visible. Insert plastic tubing inside pocket formed by hem on all four edges of viewing surface. Carefully slide surface retention extrusion, rounded edge visible, along hem and onto surface on all four edges of the fabric. Caution! Do not allow fabric to snag on the ends of the extrusions. If the screen fabric is not parallel with the surface retention extrusion, then it may slit and tear during installation. Please note, to make the step easier, pinch the end of the pocket closed before sliding it into the surface retention extrusion. Surface retention extrusion should extend beyond edge of viewing surface equally at both edges. Verify that all surface retention extrusions are installed with rounded edge visible and are centered on surface material. Surface to frame assembly. Return frame onto clean surface face down and drape completed surface assembly over completed frame profile with rounded edge of surface retention extrusion visible. Insert any side of surface to notch number one on corresponding side of frame extrusion. Insert opposite side of surface to notch number one of frame extrusion. Repeat steps two and three with remaining edges of surface. Ensure surface retention extrusions are centered lengthwise and tension slots on all four edges of surface. If additional tension is desired or required over time, adjust surface one edge at a time to tension notch two. Please note it is not necessary to adjust more than one edge at a time to increase surface tension. Mounting screen to the wall. Drill and screwdriver needed for attachment to wall. Determine height at which screen is to be mounted. Please note, top edge of screen frame will be located one half inch above mounting bracket hole center line when mounted to wall. Mark hole center line so that both Z brackets can be mounted parallel and at equal height. Install Z brackets so the outermost edges are safely within the overall length of the aluminum frame extrusion to allow for minor horizontal screen adjustments. Hardware for mounting Z brackets to the wall is not supplied. Position screen slightly above Z brackets on the wall. Please note when lifting the screen, do not lift at only one corner. Lift at both corners. Lifting by one corner could result in damage to the screen frame, especially on large screens. Lower screen until it engages over Z brackets. Center screen horizontally on brackets as necessary. Please note, make sure screen is installed level.